hello to you viewers i'm george from ireland i'm on uh, barclay square in london behind me is george canning's house uh he is prime minister uh, one of the shortest serving prime ministers in the, in the united kingdom was prime minister only three months um dying in office to my knowledge oh he, apart from spencer percival i think he's the only one to actually die in office some of them those others stood down when they knew they were terminally ill so Canning um, uh, was Irish, like me, went to the same school as me, the same college as me, and belonged to the same political party as me. There's a small difference that I'm not Prime Minister, but, you know, let's not split hairs anymore. So uh, I'm being very dangerous and standing on the road because there's basically no traffic I can. I'll, I'll beat a retreat so you can see something of the dimensions of his house. Um, but um, anyway, uh, he was born in London to Irish parents, but uh, when he was an infant his father died So they didn't have much money relative to their, their high social status and his mother had to oh horror of horrors Take to the stage to make a living as an actress and some people felt, felt that he was unfit To be Prime Minister since his mother had acted on the stage and people thought that was little better than being a prostitute A woman acting had only been legalized by Charles II in 1660 um, anyway, so he went to Eton, he went to Christchurch, Oxford, became a Tory MP in short order, been a bit, bit of a hack writer on Grub Street, as in writing whatever was needed to for the newspapers to make a living, um, and held various offices uh, during the Napoleonic Wars, served under the Earl of uh, Liverpool. Um, when the cabinet was divided into Catholics and Protestants, uh, they were all they were all Protestants. But that meant, do they do they agree with Catholic emancipation? Then you call them Catholic. If you disagree with Catholic emancipation, you're a Protestant. Catholic emancipation: the idea that the legal disabilities which have been imposed on us ought to be repealed, and they eventually were, but not in his time in 1829. So he was a Catholic. An issue that was so divisive that they suspended collective cabinet responsibility on it. Something that's happened only twice more in British history. In 1975, in that referendum on membership of the European Economic Community and 2016 in the referendum on our membership of the European Union. Um, so Canning, he was a baldy, don't let that put you off. Um, so he was, he was an affable sort, had Whig friends as well, married, had children, and he fell ill and he was in, in um, Chiswick House and that's where he died in the same room that Charles James Fox had died in 21 years earlier. So I didn't want to speak too much about him, I spoke about him in front of his statue in Parliament Square. All right, that is enough about George Canning. Toodaloo.